morning, uh, dear viewers. I uh, greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a wonderful day, the day that the Lord has made. Uh, in this month of May, uh, the Lord uh, gave us a great prophetic word. And this is the accomplishment of prayer, which means that God is ready to accomplish great things uh, through the influence of prayer. Hallelujah. Yeah, prayer is such a great privilege for us as God's children, where we are able to talk to Him as our own Father. Praise the Lord. So I want to encourage all of you, wherever you are, to take this prophetic word seriously. Yeah, devote yourself to prayer, and you will see great results. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. A certain Canaanite woman in Matthew 15 who approached Jesus Christ for the healing of her daughter. Three times Jesus rejected her. But this woman, because she knew the character, she understood the nature of Jesus Christ, she knew what Jesus Christ was able to do. She insisted, she said, she said I'm going nowhere. Uh, you know, when you read it, it is such an interesting experience. <laughs> Until Jesus Christ granted her request. And her daughter was healed. Hallelujah. Even Jesus commended her. Actually commended her that she was a woman of faith. This was a Canaanite woman. Who understood that God is able to answer prayer. Hallelujah. So this morning I want to assure you that when you pray. Our God is a living God. He's a God who can heal. Hallelujah. He's a real God. Just petition him and you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised to find yourself driving. You'll be surprised to find yourself getting married. Very soon, you'll be surprised. Why? Because you are praying to a God who is, who is unlimited in power, who is unlimited in influence. If we can commit ourselves to prayer, I want to assure you that nothing can ever limit the hand of God from working on our behalf. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So, I, I, I urge you this morning to arise and to prayer. Pray unceasingly. Pray. And you'll see great results. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. In Isaiah chapter 58, scripture says, uh, verse 9, that then you will call and the Lord will answer. Uh -huh. You will cry for help and he will say, here I am. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the God we serve. If you call on him, he will answer. Hallelujah. If you say, God, I am dying. You say, oh, here I am, my son. I'm ready to come and rescue you. So, you don't have because you don't ask. And sometimes when you ask, you ask amiss. And sometimes when you ask, you doubt. Scripture says in James chapter 1, verse 6 and 7, that when you pray, believe. Don't doubt. Because when you doubt, you'll be like a wave that is tossed to and fro by wind. You get it? No? The Bible says that such a person actually uh, will receive nothing from God. I, 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 I hope you're not among those who receive nothing from God because of doubt. Please, don't doubt what God can do. He's not man to lie. He's above man. He has all authority and power in heaven and on earth and even beneath here. So you're praying to one who is unlimited. So go ahead and pray. Pray. Ask him anything. I assure you God can answer prayers a hundred percent. Some people want to attach many conditions. You see, uh, uh, for God to answer your prayers, you should have maybe fasted. You should be very righteous. You should know. Look, before you go to being righteous and that, devote yourself to prayer. Call on him. He's your God. He's your Father. Call on him. Then, if, if he convicts you of sin, righteousness, and judgment, you repent. But don't have that excuse. Some people just carry that as an excuse. They don't want to pray. They keep saying, you see me, I'm not righteous. You see me, I'm not holy. No! Ask God. It is Him who will sanctify you. It is Him who will make you holy. So if you keep lamenting and not doing what you're meant to do, then you lose out. So this morning I challenge you in the name of Jesus Christ. Go to a place where you know that you won't be interrupted and seek the face of God. We are blessed to have our family altars. Join hands with your family members today and seek the face of God. Go to a solitary place and seek the face of God. So this privilege, utilize it because you know that you are acceptable before the Lord as his own child. Thank you very much. It's our mouth of prayer and we are 
committing ourselves to this cause to pray until something happens. The Lord bless you. I love you so much. And personally, I am praying. Amen. We know, Lord, by your power it's possible. Motelebu Zakaya, Manto Bruga Dogozo, as Flames Family Muzakoyo, Mariga de Gelebuza, Murikato Riba Dogozo. Yes, healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Sekelebu Zampru Kate Kelebuza, Mutika Labala Balaba. Yes, the grace, the grace for prayer, the grace for deeper, deeper, deeper prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, amen.